a historian and social activist, Alsi uh, Jazesh. She joins us now from Kuala Lumpur. Sir, welcome to the program. Uh, please walk us through uh, the recent events and how they've transpired with regards to the severing of ties, of diplomatic ties and relations between Albania uh, and Iran. And also, if you may, bring us up to speed on uh, the uh, investigation that uh, reportedly is taking place um, under the uh, under the watch of Microsoft with regards to this alleged cyber attack that has taken place? Well, Albania has become a hostile country to Iran since 2016, when it was ordered by the Americans to host uh, the terrorist organization of uh, Mujahideen al halq Since their location to Albania, the Mujahideens they have carried numerous uh, cyber attacks and the propaganda attacks and maybe even terrorist attacks against uh, the Islamic Republic. Uh, these attacks, which go contrary to the penal code of Albania, have gone unpunished. The Albanian government uh, learns about this, but they are afraid from the Americans to act. Uh, the Mujahideens are used in Albania by Israel, and uh, if you see the Israeli media today and yesterday, um, they are very happy with what uh, Prime Minister Adirama is doing. Now, what happened in Albania is that in July 2022, uh, uh, the government uh, institutions of Albania, they were hacked. It is not known who did this hacking, but in the time, the Mujahideen and Israelis and uh, the media that the Mujahideen have bought in Albania, everyone was claiming that it was Iran. Uh, this uh, hacking group called uh, Homeland uh, uh, Security, if I'm not wrong about the, the name, uh, they, uh, uh, they were putting slogans against the Mujahideen and they were saying why you host the terrorists in the country and so forth. Nevertheless, the, the government didn't exactly know whom to blame, but it seems that the Microsoft security, uh, I don't know who are these people, but it seems they are uh, a group within uh, the Microsoft. Probably they have been paid by Israeli lobby or the Mujahideens. They have issued a report uh, on 8th of September 2022 where they allege, without giving a clear proof, that hacking came from Iran. Now, even, let us say, even if hacking came from Iran, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was Iranian government. We have hackers nowadays throughout the world. We have hackers in the United States, in Europe, in China, and what have you. But what our prime minister did, he took an extreme and unheard a step in the history of Albania. We had such a step actually only in uh, 1946 when uh, the communist government of Albania at the time, they expelled uh, the American uh, charged affairs and diplomats from Albania and they closed the American embassy. But now in 2022, Edirama is repeating what his father, because his father was a top apparatchik for the communist regime of uh, Enver Hoxha, so Edirama now is repeating what um, his father and his colleagues did in 1946 by going into extreme and uh, expelling the Iranian diplomats from Albania. I have to mind you that Albania is without an Iranian ambassador since 2018. And for people who read the, my articles or Israeli media, they might know that the expulsion of the Iranian diplomat from Albania was done on orders of Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of right. Israel. So uh, the, the latest attack against Iran most probably was coordinated with Israel, but very surprisingly, we had even the American and the British government, which in a way they supported the extreme measure by Edirama. Now, uh, Edirama, is, the prime minister, is having very difficult time in Albania. The opposition is accusing uh, him, his brother actually, of being involved in the disappearance of a, a businessman, which was a rival of his brother, and he has so many scandals. So one explanation that we have in Albania about this 
is that probably because of his domestic affairs, he was forced to take this extreme okay. measure. Yep. Thanks a lot, historian and social activist Olsi Jezeshi joining us from Kuala Lumpur. We're going to have to leave it there as we're running short of time.